What's up? What's up? What's up? <coughs> Four minutes later. I know. I know. Coming. 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 Hey guys, what's up? A very, very warm welcome to everyone. I hope all of you guys are having a super good day going on. I am pumped up. I hope all of you are also excited for today's session because we are back with yet another sprint series for this amazing chapter that is light. Now this is for grade seven. What is sprint? We'll be completing the entire chapter along with mind map, week quiz, previous year ka questions. lot more fun so we're going to go detail we're going to go slowly we're going to understand this entire chapter properly right today if you guys are new to vedantu young wonders do not forget to hit on that subscribe button right now and a very warm welcome to my session my name is mohan master teacher of science from vedantu so what is up shall we start shall we start a big hi to every one of you guys out there a big hi call in every friend of yours Shall we have a challenge for today? Shall we have a challenge that we can cross hundred likes? Shall we have a challenge that we can cross hundred likes? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Hey Shreya, hello, hello. Hi, wanna come, wanna come, wanna come, wanna come, mommy wa. Day. What's up, guys? What's up? What's up? Wanna come? Namaskaram, namaskar, bandram. All our come, wanna come, wanga, wanga. Okay, let us quickly start with the class. Okay, okay, okay. Without any delay, let's quickly start. Let's quickly see how many likes we have to begin the class. We only have twenty likes. What is this, guys? कम से कम पचास likes होना जरूरी है class को शुरू करने के लिए So अभी जल्दी जाके like button को दबाओ फिर हम लोग इस class को शुरू करने शुरू करेंगे Come on, everybody. <laughs> wow, that that was the longest Hindi sentence I've ever spoken. Okay, so with that, guys, here is a very uh, beautiful quote for all of you. Before that, this is a sprint series. You all know what is a sprint. We will be covering the entire chapter in today's session. okay now dose of motivation for everybody to be the best you must be able to handle the worst guys right so no matter whom you have seen in your life no matter like you, you you take any of your role model your inspiration be it ronaldo be it messi be it elon musk be it steve jobs anybody every one of them have struggled every one of them have faced the worst in their life to be where they are right now right so if you have to be best you have to face the worst also guys the path to success is not easy right right exactly all right let us go forward guys so let's quickly talk about what this entire chapter is all about okay so yeah without any delay welcome to the chapter of light <laughs> first let us begin with understanding what light itself is so light is itself is a form of energy right it's a form of energy and one more important thing is that what does light do light helps us to see the things around us even though all of you guys have beautiful eyes like this still without light you will not be able to see anything it will be pitch black if there is no light because light enables us to see it helps us to see the things around us but there is a problem what is it for example if there is guddu standing right here okay with beautiful eyes If Guddu wants to see this tree, what should happen? Or if Guddu wants to see this, uh, you know, sun. Let's say the sun is here. What should happen? The light from the sun has to reach Guddu. Only then Guddu will be able to see the sun. The light has to reach Guddu's eyes. Now, what is sun? sun is an object which has its own light the objects which have its own light they are all called as what luminous 
luminous objects or the objects which can emit light they all emit light what about this tree then how are people able to see this tree very simple the light from the sun falls on the tree and then the right gets the light gets reflected and comes to Guru's eyes. So what is happening here? Reflection. Right? Now what have you understood from these two? We have understood that to see anything, if you have to see anything, there are two things. One, the object has to either emit a light or the object has to has to has to reflect only then you will be able to see the object simple as that okay but the question is but sir one day i was sitting inside my house i was studying i was sitting inside my house i was studying then I saw in my house there is a small hole in the terrace. Through that hole, light was falling. Light passed through straight through the hole. How does that happen, sir? Have you ever seen a laser, guys? Ever seen a laser? If you take a laser, the light always travels in a straight line from the laser, right? It goes straight, isn't it? So we all know that light always travels along a straight line. Always, always travels along the straight line. But many of you guys will be like, but sir, no, I don't believe you, sir. I am not going to believe you, right? What can we do to make you believe? We can do an experiment. We can do an experiment. Let us let us see the experiment. Huh? Okay. What is the experiment that we have? Let's have a look at that. Look at this. In the first case, we have a candle. The candle is burning. We have taken a straight pipe. Whenever you are seeing the flame, you are able to see it. Because light is traveling straight in that pipe. At the same time, if you take a bent pipe, the pipe which is bent like this, mm -hmm. you will notice that you are not able to see the flame. Why? Because light cannot bend, no. So this experiment or this activity proves that light always travels in a straight line, like see the, you got it? What is straight line motion called as? You might have all learned in your uh, sixth grade. What is a straight line motion called as? What is the name of it? Straight line motion. Other name of straight line motion. Come on, quick. Rectilinear motion or we can also call it as rectilinear propagation of light. Rectilinear motion or straight line motion. You got it? Simple. Okay. Now we have all understood that light travels in a straight line. Next. What about reflection of light? What is reflection, sir? Okay. Very simple. Very, very simple. For example, one more example, everybody. Let us say there is a beautiful torch light here. I'm very good in drawing, guys. See my drawing. Okay, a beautiful torch light, which is, you know, producing some light. Let's let's just take one single ray of light. Sirf a key light ray lete. Okay? Light ray. Now, let us place a mirror here. There is a mirror here. mirror this is our torch 
what happens to the light ray? The light rays will bounce back. Oh my God. They bounce back and they come and fall on Gudu's face. Gudu is so scared. He's like, how, where is this light coming from, bro? Right? So what is happening right here, guys? Bouncing of light is happening, no? Bouncing back. Like a ball. If you throw a ball on the wall, what happens? The ball goes, hits the wall and comes back. Bouncing back. So the same thing is happening. The light is going, hitting the mirror, falling back or coming back. So bouncing back of light. Into the same medium is called as reflection. Understood? So we have all understood reflection also right now. Great. Where does reflection happen? Reflection happens in the mirrors or any smooth surface, any shiny surfaces. It happens in your plate, happens in water everywhere. Okay. Understood people, everybody. What is reflection? Bouncing. If reflection happens on the smooth surfaces, it is regular reflection. If reflection happens on rough surfaces, it is diffused reflection or irregular reflection. So regular reflection, irregular reflection. Got it? Simple. Okay, so you have completed reflection also. Next part is mirrors. We'll talk about mirrors. Okay, so re refraction, somebody asked me what is refraction. Refraction is bending of light. So when light enters from one medium to the next medium, it slows down, its speed decreases. So due to that, the light will bend. So bending of light is called as a refraction. Okay. Okay, what is mirror? Mirror is something that we use every day, no? What do we do in the morning? Once you guys wake up, what do you do? You go to potty. After that, <laughs> you guys go get ready for the school. What do you do? You go and you start combing your hair, no? Like, hey, look at me, bro, look at me. So when you go stand in front of the mirror, what happens? You see yourself. So you are the object and what you see in the mirror is your image. You are the object and what you see in the mirror is your image. For example, let, let, let's, let's, uh, let's suppose, 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 okay, here is you, you are here or good do is here. This is a mirror. If Guddu is standing in front of the mirror, Guddu is able to see someone like him standing here. Right? Now, how is this happening? Because it's a mirror. So this one right here is a mirror and reflection is happening. This is the object. And this is your image. All this happens because of reflection. Now, since the image is formed where? Since the image is formed in the mirror, such type of images we call it as what? Very important, virtual images. Virtual means what? Imaginary. It's an illusion. It looks like there is a real person, but there is nobody. It is an illusion. So if image is formed in the mirror, it is a virtual image. Please do not forget. It's very, very important. Okay. All right. Now, I think we missed out one part in terms of reflection. That is the laws of reflection. What is laws of reflection? We'll cover that also. Yes, I think uh, we missed out laws of reflection. Okay. For example, let us take a plain mirror here. A beautiful plane mirror is it's a straight line okay let us see mirrors are always represented by shading one side don't forget that 
All right, I'm sharing it. Got it. Now, a ray of light falls on the mirror. There is a ray of light. Falls on the mirror. Now, what happens when light falls on the mirror, people? This is a mirror. Reflection happens. No. Reflection happens. Okay. So after reflection, the light bounces back into the same medium. I'm using different light uh, colors to understand. Okay. Don't ask. So blue light, red light, kaise ho gaya? Don't ask like that. Okay. Just for reference. Now, let us draw a normal line perpendicular to the mirror. What is the meaning of perpendicular? It should form 90 degree like this. That is perpendicular. So let's draw a normal line perpendicular to the mirror. Where? At the point of incidence. This point. This is your normal line. Your normal. It is perpendicular to the mirror. Okay. The light ray which falls on the mirror, we call it as what? We call it as incident ray. Incident ray. This is your incident ray. The light ray which gets reflected is called the reflected ray. So we have the incident ray, we have the reflected ray. The blue is the incident, the red is the reflected ray. Same light basically. And this is your normal. Perpendicular to the mirror. Perpendicular means this entire angle is 90 degree. Okay, cool. Now, let's talk about angles now. You can see that the incident ray is forming an angle with the normal ray, right? This angle. So the angle between the incident ray and the normal, we call it as angle of incidence. Now the angle between the normal and the reflected ray, we call it as angle of reflection. We have angle of incidence, we have angle of reflection. Okay. Now, what is the first law of reflection? The first law of reflection tells, the first law tells, what, any idea? Any idea? First law tells, the angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. That is our first law of reflection. Iska matlab kya hai? What is the meaning of this? I will tell you. Now, if the angle between the incident ray and normal is 40 degrees, what is angle of reflection? 40 degrees. It's the same. It will be the same. Okay. If the angle of incidence is 80 degrees, the angle of reflection will also be 80 degrees according to the law. First law. Okay. Now let me give you guys a, a act homework. Ready, ready for a challenge guys? Are you all ready for a challenge now? Will you solve it with me? Who's ready for a challenge? But a virtual image is an image which is formed in the mirror. Okay, thousand times you have asked the same question. Challenge? Okay. The question is, you will have to find the angle of reflection. The question is, find angle of reflection if, if, the angle between the mirror and the incident ray, this angle, if it is 50, find the angle of, find this angle. Come on, quick. Let's see who can give me the answer. Let's see who can give me the answer. Think. If the angle between the mirror and incident ray is 50 degrees, what is this angle? Angle of reflection. Very simple, guys. Okay. Let us solve. Very good. I can see a lot of right answers. Amazing, guys. Amazing. Chicken? Simple. Okay. We already know 
Now let's solve it. We already know what? We already know that the normal is perpendicular to the mirror. So perpendicular ka matlab kya hai? This entire angle is 90 degrees. No, entire angle, normal and mirror. Okay. So normal and mirror, entire angle is 90 degree. Minus, we already know that this angle is 50. So this entire thing minus this angle will give us incidence angle. So 90 minus 50 is 40 degrees. Okay, this is your angle of incidence. This, okay, we got this as 40 degrees. And according to the first law, we already know that angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. So if this is 40, this is also 40. Understood? Yeah? Okay, Kushi, okay, calm down. All right, got this. So we learned about the laws of reflection. The second law tells that the angle of incidence, the normal at the point of incidence and the reflected ray, all these three lines lie on the same plane. That is your second law of reflection. Okay. Got it? So two laws of reflection we have completed. Easy as that. Okay. Let's go back to our slides now, guys. <laughs> Simple. Okay, now let's talk about the next topic. What is the next topic that we have? Next topic we have is our mirrors. We have a plane mirror. We have spherical mirror. What is a plane mirror, guys? Any idea? Any idea? If, if you want me to continue, I should see some likes. We have done 50 likes. Our target is to complete 100. Come on. Hit the like button if you guys are just watching now. Come on. Like button. Okay. Now let's talk about mirrors. Good to right now is looking at the plane mirror. You guys are all using plane mirror in your house to see your face. In the morning, you are like, oh, look at me. I'm hero. You're using your mirror. That's a plane mirror. Now, how does a plane mirror form images? What are the properties of image formed by the plane mirror? First, if you go stand in front of the mirror, your image also looks like you only, right? It is the same size. If you are tall, image is also tall. If you are short, image is short. If you are strong, looks, muscles and all, image also has muscles. So it's the same size. Second one, the distance is same. What do you mean by distance is same, guys? Distance between, very important, please, please listen. Distance between the object and the mirror and the distance between the image and the mirror, this distance is the same. So the, if this is 10 meters, this is also 10 meters. If you go very close to the mirror, image also comes very close. If you go far, image also goes far. The distance between the object and the mirror is same as the distance between the mirror and the image. Okay, simple. Now, next, something called as lateral inversion. What is lateral inversion? If Guddu rises his left hand, the image will rise its right hand. So left appears right, right appears left in the mirror. That is called lateral inversion. Okay. Next, plane mirror always forms virtual image. That is an illusion inside the mirror you see it. It's a virtual image. So all of these are properties of the plane mirror. Okay. So plane mirror also we have completed. Everybody quick dab. Quick dab. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> week quiz class ke baad. After all these topics, we'll do week quiz. Okay. Ha. Huh. This right to left and left to right, we can notice an ambulance. That's why in ambulance, the words are written like this. You know, like this. A, M, B, U, L, 
A N C E. Because if you keep a mirror here, it will look like like this. See lateral inversion. So if you're going in the car, if you're seeing through the side mirror, you can see it's written ambulance properly. Okay. Easy people, easy. Chee gaya. Abhi plane mirrors are done. Let's jump to the main part. That is spherical mirrors. Ayo yo. What are these spherical mirrors? Very important. What is it? Spherical mirrors. What are spherical mirrors? Why are their names spherical? Why are their names spherical? Sphere. Have, do you guys have you guys heard about sphere? Sphere looks like this, like a ball. A ball is a sphere basically, right? Ha. Huh. Now, now, if I cut this, I will get two kinds of surfaces. One surface is like this. One more surface is like this. So spherical mirrors are called as spherical mirrors because they are part of a sphere. That's why they are called as spherical mirrors. All right. There are two types of spherical mirrors that we will talk about. What are the two types of spherical mirrors? First one is concave. Concave mirror. One more is your convex mirror. How do they look like? Let's all try to understand. This is one place where you guys get confused a lot. I want you all to focus, listen with me to understand this. Concave. Okay. Okay. What do we do in a cave, guys? What do we do in a cave? If you see a cave, what do you do? Tell me. What do we do in a cave? We go inside the cave. Remember? Whenever we see a cave, we go inside it, no? Inside, cave, inside. Remember, cave means inside. That's your trick. So, if the inner side is reflective, that means outer side is shaded. This side is shaded. Which side is reflective? The inner side is reflective. Then it is called as concave mirror. Inner side is reflective. It is a concave mirror. Understood? The opposite is convex. So convex pe kya hota hai? The outer surface is reflective. So inner side is shaded. The outer surface is reflective. So this is shaded. Alright. Now bring the light. Light kaha hai? Bring the light. Okay. Reflective. So this is convex mirror. So outer surface is reflective in convex, inner surface is reflective in concave. Got it people? Understood? Thanks for the trick. Ah, remember, okay? <laughs> cave. Remember, cave means inner side. Okay? Cave means inner side. Iske baad, iske baad quiz hoga, don't worry. Okay. Now, we have learnt about the types of convex or spherical mirrors. Concave, convex. Now, image formation. Let's see how the image formation is. In concave and convex. Okay. Now, guys, concave mirror can form all the types of images. All the types of images. What are the types of images that we have? We have. We have what type of images? We have a first one. Small, enlarged. Next, 
real virtual next next erect inverted so concave mirror is capable of forming all the types of images small image enlarged image real image real image means it is formed in the mirror sorry real image means it's formed in the screen always remember if the image is formed in the screen it is real image if the image is formed in the mirror it is virtual don't forget okay yeah now erect and inverted erect means straight inverted means ulta it is about concave mirror convex mirror on the other hand can only form virtual virtual any idea any idea what else virtual erect and small or enlarged tell me larger small image diminished diminished means small so diminished and enlarged diminished means small okay so this is for convex mirror got it so convex mirror forms virtual erect and small always now let's talk about their applications where all are they used where is concave mirror used where is convex mirror used very important yeah now concave mirror can form large images no enlarged so what do dentists do they will put a small mirror inside your mouth to see how your teeth is right so it is used by dentists used by ent doctors ear nose throat to check if there is anything inside your ear nose or throat by ent doctors it's also used as reflectors in torch and car or bike headlights what headlights in all these places we use the concave mirror okay now convex mirror is used as what it is used as a side view mirror in the cars that's all understood guys ent means ear nose throat guys <laughs> okay okay got it got it people got it amma so we have completed mirrors also that is spherical mirrors plane mirror concave convex image formation application image formation application everybody dab let's go dab 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 people dab <laughs> okay next one finally we'll talk about the next part that is all about your lens what are these lenses now now lenses are transparent glass materials where refraction happens that is bending of light happens oh my god now there are two types of lenses any idea any idea two types of lenses there are also spherical lenses guys lenses there are two types of lenses convex and concave absolutely people absolutely we have convex lens concave lens pehle con we'll do con cave first ha huh? concave lens and con vex lens how many of you guys like uh, idli you guys like idli idli is the famous south indian breakfast like we all love idli as breakfast no how does idli how does idli look like idni with some chutney you know so nice no 
<laughs> you guys like it okay how does idli look like idli looks like this <coughs> <coughs> one second <coughs> thinking somebody is scolding me why are you talking about idli da <laughs> okay let's use a different page for it <coughs> it looks like this in uh, like this no beautiful idli it is thick in the uh, middle thin at the edges thick here thin at the edges that's how idli looks like this is how your convex mirror looks like convex mirror also has another name any idea what the other name is converging mirror so lens guys my bad why did i write mirror lens <laughs> okay it is lens converging lens why is it called as converging lens that is idli da not leaf <laughs> okay a hey, shape of the idli is not circle see the idli from the side like hold the idli like this and see it looks like this only not like this see it like this apdi vandruvanga so circle sir idli circle arc sir <laughs> okay it's called converging because whenever light ray passes through convex lens you know what happens let's take three light rays 1 2 3 whenever light rays passes through convex lens the light rays will converge at one point they converge at one point they meet at one point what is this point called focus the focal point that's where they meet okay that's why it's called as converging lens the light rays converge at one point All right. Yes. Now, what about concave then, sir? How many of you guys like vada with idli? Do you guys like vada with idli? Ul, uh, or, <laughs> the the urud vada, which has a hole in the middle. You guys like vada? Yeah. Do not know vada. Not vada pav. No. We 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 don't eat that in the south. We only eat vada. <laughs> I don't know, guys. First time I saw vada pav, I got shocked. I'm like, bro, how are people eating bun with bonda? We eat bonda with tea, not with bun. Like I saw people taking bun, cutting the bun, taking a bonda, putting inside the bun and eating. I'm like, bro, <laughs> bonda no no, bro guys. In South we call it as bonda, the one that is there inside the vada no. Huh, that was that is that is bone. <laughs> Instead of vada pav, you put something. No, that's bone da. <laughs> Week was this ke baad. Okay. Is ke baad is ke baad. Okay. Now concave lens is thick at the edges, but thin in the middle. Like this. Okay. Yes, it is called as what lens? Diverging lens. Now. diverging lens why is it called as diverging lens because here when light rays passes through concave lens they diverge they go away from each other that's why it's called as diverging lens so convex lens is converging concave lens is diverging never forget what about image formation now it is opposite of mirrors opposite of mirrors in mirrors what we saw concave mirror was able to form all the images here convex lens will form all images it will form small enlarged it will form erect inverted it will form virtual and real this is all for convex lens ठीक है कॉनकेव लेंस इज बेसिकली द सेम एज कॉन्वेक्स मिरर दैट इज स्मॉल वर्चुअल एंड इरेक्ट ओके 
Understood, guys? Huh? Got it? Now, applications of lenses. Where are lenses used? Lenses are used in, you know, uh, binoculars, telescopes, microscopes, magnifying glass, everywhere. We all use lenses in a lot of places. So, lenses are also completed. Dab, guys. Poom. 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 Dab. Lens is also completed. Now let's go for the last topic, guys. Sunlight, white or colored. Okay. Whenever, whenever white light passes through a prism, it splits into its component colors. That is red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet or vibjor. Violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, red. So white light is actually made up of these seven different colors. So whenever white light passes through a prism, they split into its component colors. This process, remember guys, this process of splitting white light into its component colors is called as dispersion. What is it called? Dispersion. This is what happens in the formation of rainbow also. But sir, I do not believe the believe this, sir. How can all the light together form, uh, you know, white light, sir? I don't believe you. That is what people are telling. Newton was like, I will teach you guys now. So what did Newton do is, he took a Newton's disc to make them understand. Newton's disc kya hota hai? Look at this. This is Newton's disc. It has all the seven colors. Now let's see what happens when I spin this disc. Okay, I'm going to spin. When I spin it very fast, you can see that all that color slowly become into white. All that color slowly become into white. It goes white. You guys can download. You guys can go to Play Store and download Newton's disc and try. Okay, becomes white. This is a proof that the uh, seven different colors make up the white light. Okay, never underestimate white. I know. <laughs> Deviates means it changes its direction beta. That is the meaning of deviation. Okay. Again. Now, so it, we call it as a spectrum of light. Spectrum means that entire band of colors. With your. Okay. Now, sir, why is this happening, sir? Why are they splitting, sir? Because of refraction. Refraction kya hota hai? When light enters from one medium to the next medium, it slows down. Every color will travel at different speed and then they get split. Okay? Simple. Chega. Mirrors also we saw. This also we saw. That also we saw. Now let's go for some short answer types. Before I solve some answers for all of you, they take it likes, but uh, 100 likes. Ke liye. <laughs> 75 guys, come on, let's do it. 100. We can do it. 100, and then we shall start with the questions. Everybody, come on, quick. 100 likes, everybody. 100 likes. 78, not enough. 100, 100. Okay, now let's go for some questions. Take care. We'll understand each and every question clearly. First question. What is a virtual image? Give one situation where a virtual image is formed. Oh, guys, I told you every morning you wake up, you go stand in front of the mirror, you see yourself. That is a virtual image. So an image which cannot be obtained on the screen. That is called as a virtual image. The image formed by a plane mirror is a virtual image because you cannot get that image on the screen. Right? Exactly. We quiz kab hoga? 100 likes ke baad. 100 likes ke baad we quiz hoga. <laughs> Uses of concave mirror. We did this. Recollect guys. Recollect con, con, sorry, concave mirror. Cave. Mirror. Uses. By dentist. ENT doctors, reflectors in the torches and headlights of the cars and scooters. That's what we saw. Exactly. Next one. 
why the word ambulance is written literally inverted on the ambulance vehicle because of a very beautiful process that happens in reflection that is lateral inversion where the right appears left and left appears right so when somebody is driving in front of the ambulance if they see that ambulance is coming behind them they will give way because they will see through the mirror so in the mirror the right appears left left appears right right now the side mirror of the scooter got broken the mechanic replaced it with a plain mirror mention any inconvenience that the that the driver of the scooter will face using it guys first of all we all know that the side mirror is a convex mirror because it collects all the image and makes it small so the driver can see a large area behind him but in plain mirror that is not possible he will not be able to see a large area behind him right so that it's it's, it's not safe to drive like that it will be difficult to drive yeah yeah differentiate between plain mirror concave mirror convex mirror without touching them oh hey se kaise the mirrors can be differentiated by bringing them you know near to our uh, face because a plain mirror always same size always virtual right whereas concave mirror will sometimes produce magnified image our image will look much bigger on the other side because convex mirror can't do that because convex mirror can only give small image concave mirror can give big image so if it is giving big image it's concave if it is small image convex okay under legs ho gaya acha we'll do we'll lateral inversion left appears right right of your appears left in the mirror that's called as lateral inversion this we all know right long answer types let's see if you have if we have reached the likes 86 simply don't tell we only have 86 likes huh? we need 100 no <laughs> guys before you guys came only there was more than 50 likes simply don't tell okay so we are 64 how can we give 100 huh? before you guys came only there was 50 it should it should actually come to 120 now <laughs> if you keep doing this i'll increase the number then see okay next one long answer types explain with the help of an activity that seven colors are mixed together then white color is formed by using newton's disk take a cardboard make seven color all the seven colors rotate it fast and you will see the white color it's basically the newton's disk okay like this see this is your newton's disk <laughs> fix the disks we all know how to do it now give the definition dispersion of light also explain why does it take place draw a diagram to show dispersion of white light by glass prism what is dispersion splitting of white light into seven colors or into its component colors by using a glass prism is known as dispersion the band of seven colors formed on the white screen when a beam of white light is passed through a glass prism that band of seven is called as a spectrum of white light okay it's a spectrum what is a spectrum the seven different colors this is how it works see and always remember vibjor is from bottom to top v i b sorry v i b g y o r from bottom to top okay ab shall we go for quiz now should we go for quiz i don't think so 100 likes is not there <laughs> 100 likes is not there 99 100 finally <laughs> okay now people let's quickly start with the uh, you know quiz okay where to find the quiz guys all you have to do is go below the video click on show more and see you can find the link here we quiz ka link is here so click on this link you will be able to join the we quiz okay now quickly join in or if you are not able to join there 
go to www.wequiz.in and then enter the code double two eight one six seven that's your code come on everybody i again repeat it so all you have to do is copy this or type go to a new window or what you can do you can go to a incognito mode yahan pe type www. v dot dot in not If white screen is coming, refresh it. Refresh. Can you see me, guys? Refresh if white screen is coming. It should work. Double two eight one six seven is the code. For me, because I'm logged in, it's not coming. But you guys can refresh and check. Okay, so come on. Are you all ready? Are you all ready, guys? The code is double two eight one six seven. Come on. we'll start we'll start everybody let everybody join come on quick www.wequiz.in use the code 228167 that is your code come on guys quick quick let's go shall we start shall we start in 5 Okay, we have we have forty four people. Let's make it fifty people and we'll start. Okay, fifty people. How many likes do we have? Exactly hundred. <gasps> no, come on, not enough. <laughs> not enough. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so waiter, I'll wait. I'll wait. Shristi is willing to wait. Let's go. Come on. Okay, quick, quick. Any other class going on right now? I think we took a lot of time today. Whose class is going on now? Oh, Sana Mom's class is going on. Oh, let's finish it quick, guys. Come on, let's finish it quick. The link is right below the video, guys. Okay, here's your first question, guys. First question on the screen in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Ten questions. Let's do it. Come on. A concave mirror cannot be used as dash. A magnifying mirror, a torch reflector, a dentist mirror, a real view mirror. A concave mirror cannot be used as dash. Cannot be used as dash. Think. Simple concave mirror, guys. Easy, easy, peasy. So a concave mirror cannot be used as a rear view mirror. We cannot use it as a rear view mirror. Got it? Simple. Of course, that's your right answer because rear view mirror के लिए we have convex mirror. So we have Vani Gupta at the top. Very good, Vani. Then we have Kung. We have Manya, Mayank, Naithik, Siddesh, Ansh, Swastik, Manishwini, and Stubborn Soul. Great job, people. You guys have all done very well. Next question on the screen. Let's go. Question number two out of ten. In a concave mirror, the reflecting surface is dash, plane surface, bulging out surface, uneven surface, bent in surface. In a concave mirror, the reflecting surface is dash, concave. बेटा एक बार रिफ्रेश करके देखो इट इल लॉग इन ओके यूज योर फोन नंबर It lasts for OTP. You will be able to log in. In a concave mirror, the reflecting surface is dash. Come on. Times up. It is bent in concave. What do you do in a cave? You go inside a cave. Remember, it's bent in. Great. 
Vani Gupta, Mayank, Ansh, Naitik, Swastik, Manishwini, Dev, Swara, Kung and Manya. Next question. Question number three on your screen. Dash light deviates the least. White da dash light deviates the more. Sorry, which light deviates least? Which deviates more? Red, violet, red, blue, violet, red, red, green. Abhijit, no problem, beta. Even after the class, you will be able to play the V quiz. So once your parents come back, get the OTP, log in, then you can play. Okay. Simple, simple. Come on. What deviates the least? Least deviation happens in red. The, the top one, the most deviation is the violet, right? Violet is like this, red is like this. In a rainbow. Very good job, guys. It is option A. That's your right answer. Vani, Swastik, Naitik, Manaswini, Dev, Kung, Arham, Mayank, Yuvika, and Ansh. Great job, guys. Question number four on your screen. The color band of light obtained by dispersion of light is called what? Image, spectrum, convergence, scattering. The colored band of light obtained by dispersion of light is called what? Quick, quick. Easy guys, easy, come on. The colored band of light obtained by dispersion. What is the entire band called? It's called as the spectrum of light, all the different colors, right? Great job, leaderboard. We have Vani Gupta, Swastik, Naitik, Manaswini, Dev, Kung, Arham, Mayank, Yuvika, and Aishwarya. Great job, guys. Question number five on your screen. Let's go. Why can't we see anything in the dark room? Everything is black in color. Our eyes do not work in darkness. No light is reaching our eyes. All the light gets scattered. Why can't we see anything in the dark room? Come on, come on, quick, let's go. Why can't we see anything in the dark room? <laughs> because no light is reaching our eyes, guys. Exactly. Look, I told you light has to reach our eyes if you have to see something, right? Vani Gupta, Swastik, Naitik, Manaswini, Dev, Kung, Anshuvika, Arhamanai, Shudha. Great job. Vani is at the top. Come on. Question number six, everybody. Which of the following statement is or are correct? Light is a form of energy. If we shine a torch on a dark night, we will see that the beam of light produced by the torch goes in a straight line. If we look at a lighted candle through a straight pipe with one eye, we can see the light of the candle flame, all of the above. Tricky question. How to fill email box while joining the quiz? Type your email, type your phone number, OTP will come, that's all. Yes, correct, Joyeta, correct. It is all of these statements are correct, guys, absolutely, that's your right answer. Okay, leaderboard. Vani Gupta, Swastik, Naitik, Dev, Kung, Aishwarya, Ansh, Yuvika, Manishwini and Anushka, great job, guys. Question number seven on your screen. Arohi for class seventh beta. An erect and enlarged image is formed by what? Erect and enlarged. Only convex mirror, only concave mirror, only plane mirror, both concave and convex. Enlarged image. Don't get confused. Enlarged image. Don't get confused. Come on. Con cave because convex is only small. Concave mirror is the right answer. Beautiful people, beautiful. Vani Gupta, Naitik Kumar, Aishwarya, An Srivasta, Yuvika Mohan K. Chan. Hey Yuvika, long time beta. Swastik Rohila, class 7th, Manashwini, Dev Sharma, Kung, and Swara. Question number 8 on your screen. If you are standing 2 meters away from a plane mirror, 
the distance between you and your image is what you are 2 meters away from the mirror but what is the distance between you and that image 2 only 4 6 8 Sir, I don't know email. It's okay, brother. Once your parents come, you can put your put the phone number, get the OTP, and join the quiz. Okay, it's four meters, guys. From you to the mirror is two meters. From the mirror to the image is two meters. Two plus two, four. Data board. So we have Naitik Kumar, Aishwarya, Vani Gupta, Anj Shrivastha, Yuvika, Swastik, Manishwini, Dev, Swara, and Mayank. Great job. Question number nine. Last two questions. Let's do it. In, in a convex spherical mirror, reflection of light takes place where flat surface, bent in surface, bulging out surface, uneven surface. Reflection of light takes place where in a convex spherical mirror. Think, think. Come on. Simple. in a convex spherical mirrors the reflection of light takes place at bulging out convex is out concave is inside right lead about okay so we have naitik yuvika vani gupta swastik dev sharma aishwarya and shrivasta manishwini mayank and arham great job last question on your screen Bojon Pelli were given one mirror each by their teacher. Bojon found his images erect and the same size, whereas Pelli found his images erect and smaller. This means that the mirrors of Bojon and Pelli are respectively what? Beta, <laughs> Bojon is uh, erect and same size. Pelli is erect and small. Simple. Plane or concave? Convex or so concave or convex? Plane or convex? Convex or plane? See if it is same size, it is plane. If it is smaller, it is convex. So plane and convex is the right answer. Okay. So final leaderboard, everybody. Let's see who's on the leaderboard. We have uh, 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 Naitik. Great job, guys. Great job, Naitik at the top. Amazing. Then we have Yuvika. Amazing, Yuvika. After a long time, and we have Vani Gupta. Great job, guys. You guys have all done very well. Congratulations to all of you. Now, if you want the class notes, all you have to do is. right below the video you will find telegram ka link click on this okay join the telegram group vedantu young wonders you can join the group vedantu young wonders hmm hmm okay you can join the group so here 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 it is here see you can join this group and once you join this group i will be uploading the aaj ka ppt right here okay i'll upload aaj ka ppt right here let me upload it now only see i'm uploading it now still on let me upload it guys so you can you can uh, download the class notes from there i have sent it so join the telegram group to get to know all the class notes theek okay? hai i have done it guys please do join all right so guys yes uh, let's let's go back to the class i hope all of you had fun learning with me today it was wonderful teaching you all and thank you for the 100 likes let's hope that it continues so guys uh, until then this is me mohan signing off all of you take care stay safe stay as lovely as always you guys good night bye bye